there's something to say for consistency, but again, I feel like what moms don't need is a lot of guilt right now. Like, oh, you weren't consistent. Look how disobedient your child is. You know, it's just hard. There is something to say for consistency. Like now that my kids are a little bit older and I'm not as hormonal and I'm not feeling as crazy and I'm getting sleep, um, you know, I can say, okay, my head is a little clear here now. I think I can have some pretty set consequences to things. But each child is still different. And it really requires a lot of talking and a lot of faith and a lot of me saying, uh, please forgive me, I yelled at you. And I shouldn't have done that. That wasn't kind. Or I grabbed your arm pretty hard when you weren't listening just because I was angry and other people were watching. And you know what? I shouldn't have done that to you. That was that was not cool. Um, I think being honest with our kids and letting them see that we need Jesus so very badly. I mean, how many of us thought that we were like these great parents before we ever had children? Because we read all the motherhood books. And then you're like, and then you have, you know, a child that's crazy and you're like, oh, I so am not just such a great mom and I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but if you're trying and you're investing and you're doing what you can with the limitations that you have, and believe me, being tired is a limitation, being alone is a limitation. You know, these are very real things. Um, you're a good mom. I mean, you're a good mom. You're doing your best. You're trying. You care. And that really matters. And I really think that for the faithful, God will fill in the gaps, and there really is grace where we fall short. Um, and again, this isn't to say we don't try, you know, we don't just give up. Although sometimes we have to come to a place where we say, God, um, I give up as far as my ability goes. Like, I can't, I feel like I keep failing. God, would you show me a better way? Would you help me, Lord? And, um, and then we just, we, we sort of have to get over this idea that we're not good enough and that we're failures, because if we stay in that place, um, we're not going to be able to really function out of a motherhood role. And so I think we have to say, okay, you know what? I'm not good enough. This is why Jesus died for me. <laughs> like, um, but I'm not a failure. In fact, according to Hebrews 10, 14, um, I am perfect according to heaven right now. I wear Jesus' righteousness. So I might mess up in all these ways, but God is pleased with me. And if my children have the Holy Spirit, then he is pleased with them. So let's walk this journey together. And I think we are walking out a journey of grace with our children, and we need to remember that. And, you know, they sin and we sin, and it. this is why we need Jesus, all of us. It's not going to get resolved. First-time obedience, you know, all this stuff, it's not going to resolve their sin. It's never, moms, the sin is never going to go away. <laughs> Accept it, roll with it, and do your best.